Republic. Thank you very, very much indeed for agreeing to take part in our Business of Trust interview uh, programme. Can I start? I'm going to ask you uh, essentially four questions. Can I ask by, uh, start by asking you, of the five civic principles, which resonates most significantly or most, is most important to you and for what particular reason? Well, I would say, to start off with, I would sign up to all the five principles. I think they are valid, all of them. Something I know is very important for us here in Glasgow is, of course, the competence and skill and how we have been working with develop apprenticeship programs for many sectors, not just the traditional, but of course, into the financial sector as well. And that has been very important for bringing forward um, inclusive growth and including people that possibly would have been excluded from those kind of sectors otherwise. So therefore, I think competence and skill is probably the one I would put forward you know, slightly more over the other ones. Excellent answer and very relevant, as I know, to, to, to the region and to Glasgow in, in particular. Thank you very much. And then under that, which action uh, under the Chesham Principle resonates again most strongly with you? Um, the step for building trust, well, the action is, as I say, providing good inclusive growth, including people and communities that have been excluded from the, from economic growth. I think it's very, very important. So that is one of the actions to see that actually, see that they are included. Tremendous. And is there anything on here, if there was a single silver bullet that you would put in in, in the gun to far, recognising this is a complex agenda that we haven't covered, that you would say, if there's one bit of advice you would give to business or other communities around trust, what would it be? You know, I don't believe in single syllables. I don't believe in the magic pill that would solve everything. I think that is actually sometimes almost dangerous to see that we can okay. find an outmost solution for every problem. Uh, so I think there's always there has to be a combination of various things, it has to be in-depth combinations of various things. Um, to be seen as honest, I think, is one absolutely important thing. Uh, and honest is more than just being, you know, um, not being dishonest. It's, it's not about uh, taking advantage of so It's about being fair. And being fair is much. It's, it's to include, as I said before, the excluded in society as well. I think it's so important to do that. And businesses need to very much integrate in society and not be seen as a different entity from society. Business is part of society. Society is business as well in some respect. And I think that is so important to overbridge that gap between, um, or the perceived gap between the two entities. That is a wonderful statement uh, and very clear to Lord Roberts. Thank you very much indeed. My final question to you is in relation to this program and the five civic principles. Can these civic principles help develop trust worthiness? Yes, I do think so. I absolutely think so. If businesses and other organisations, of course, like including council, would sign up, up to this fully and work to this fully out, because it's just to sign up, but you have to actually do the work as well, that is so important. I think that would increase trust for businesses and uh, other organisations. Lord Provost, thank you very much indeed. I really appreciate you taking part in the Business and Trust programme. Thank you. Thank you very much.